I train dogs for working applications like police dogs and search and rescue dogs and I start, I breed and train dogs. So I start with them as puppies and then I place them with the handlers that are going to have them and um, we do all different kinds of the search work. There's tracking and trailing, there's human remains detection, um, all kinds of detection work. It's all basically the same skills with different application people. So what we want is a dog that has very strong drive. And drive is that, that need they have to do what they do. Like, all dogs can smell things. All dogs can smell things better than we can. But we, have, we want dogs that, that not only want to do it, but are just kind of insistent on doing it, that will push you. I start with them when they're little puppies. We do what's called imprinting. Like if I know I'm going to have a handler who needs a human remains detection dog, we will imprint them on that scent. You expose them to that scent when they're like four and a half weeks old. And, uh, you know, it becomes really strong in their brain, the connection between that scent and some kind of a reward system. We'll start um, on. My specialty is tracking and trailing, where they actually find where the person physically walked and follow the scent of the person and then find um, items that the person handled or touched. And um, so I'll ask her to go and show me where I walked and find the things that I dropped. Now, right now I'm just using me, but basically human scent is human scent. And, uh, but then they learn to distinguish between different humans.